Hey guys, Dr. Brian Wickstrom here with River City Chiropractic and I'm excited today we're going to be kicking off our series about high blood pressure, uh, which is also known as hypertension. Okay, so hypertension has become a major problem here in the United States. Uh, right now, according to the CDC, about 47% of Americans are diagnosed with this just one problem and it's estimated to contribute to um, about 500,000 deaths every single year here in our country. So a lot of people are being impacted by this. And so if you're not familiar, normal blood pressure is 120, uh, which is the systolic when your heart's actually beating, uh, over 80, which is when your heart's at rest. Um, so that's the normal blood pressure reading um, that they look for. Uh, to be considered to have hypertension, then you need to be over 130 with your systolic and over 80 with your uh, diastolic. So high blood pressure short term is actually not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, really what it is, it's your body adapting to you know, either a physical, a chemical, or some sort of stress basically. So if you're working out, lifting weights, running, if you drink some coffee or something, have some caffeine in the morning, that's gonna elevate your blood pressure. So short term, it's not necessarily bad. Your body's adapting to those stressors in the environment. But where it becomes a problem is if it's elevated long term. And so that's when it can really start to impact the lining of your uh, blood vessels and can lead to stroke, heart attacks, um, you know, affects your brain function, uh, kidney function, all these sorts of other areas can really be vision as well, can be impacted by uh, prolonged high blood pressure. So in this series, you know, traditionally uh, people are treated with medications, maybe given some tips on lifestyle changes um, to help to reduce that. Uh, medications, they can lower your blood pressure. Um, however, there's also other potential side effects that go along with it. it increases risk of falls. There's a number of studies that show a, a huge increase in risk of cancer too by taking these things long term. And I'm sure we can all agree that uh, elevated blood pressure isn't due to lack of these medications in your body. So really all it's doing is just treating the symptom. Okay, and so this series we're going to be really diving into the real causes of hypertension um, and give you guys some natural solutions and things that you can be doing proactively on your own to balance or reduce your blood pressure and really just keep your body healthy. So I'm looking forward to sharing these tips with you and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.